Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again. I know I'm doing a lot of The Streak recently, but I'll be honest, I just enjoy The Streak a lot. We've rolled Samson this time, uh, so not a particularly hard character, but obviously a bad run can go awry with this guy, so it's not all roses yet. But we'll see what we can do here. Uh, unfortunately, we've got a trinket here that I actually don't think is too bad, but Child's Heart is just better. It's just more survivability. Um... I don't think it's a great idea to deny that right now. But I, I went in there mainly for a little bit of a damage boost early on, which is kind of nice. And also because I'm not too worried about having slightly lower HP on this character. Because I think this character is pretty strong. Uh, and like we just said as well, we gain more damage either way. So I'm going to kill stuff a little bit faster. It's a nice commodity. It's a nice, nice little addition we can grab here. Hopefully we can get a bomb and get either a tinted rock or a secret room here. Can you chill out? Thank you. There's the bomb. The D2 can be thrown, we'll spin on the floor temporarily, any pickups, enemies, tears, at such and will be re-rolled. So it's probably best for like going for re-rolling our tears and doing some extra damage, but it's interesting to know that it can re-roll pickups on the floor. So for example, we can lob it over here and get a key out of it. It's it's not crazy, it's nothing absolutely wild, um, but... On occasion we might be able to get something a little more valuable out of it. I don't know how long it kind of rolls around for it might be a significant amount of time i do not like the idea of you being a champion and sticking around so i'm gonna focus on killing you first in fact that kind of helps because i can slow you down there you go yeah killing that guy first very important but yeah i think i'll go back and re-roll that half heart as well when given the opportunity that's pretty good we are absolutely set currently for keys which is rather nice it's always nice to have one of your things, one of your consumables early on, pretty much taken care of. The slowing down on you is nice, but the creep is going to take a little while to dissipate. Oh god, I knew that was about to hit me. I could see it coming. It's okay, we won't re-roll that half heart now, shall we? We'll go back and grab it. Before we forget. Yeah, I, I was a little wary then that was going to happen, but eh. Whatever, it happened. Uh, secret room, I don't, I don't think we've seen a potential location for secret room as of yet. You might have heard that I just smacked my elbow into my desk, and yes, it did hurt. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it did hurt. I'm gonna try and sneak a bomb in here, and yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. I was wondering if I could sneak a bomb in and, and kill as many of them as I possibly could with that in tow. Um, yeah, I'll just grab that now. And yeah, secret room could be in the crook of the L on this room. I feel like that's pretty common. Another tinted rock there. Or we could just find the second secret room by accident. Good start. Good start. Um, oh my lord, it's a good start, baby. Oh my lord, it's a good start. Okay. I'm actually pretty happy with the D2 as well. It's weird, but it's interesting. We got good damage at the moment as well. I'll take that for now. Why not? Um, let's just take a little think about where L Secret Room could be. Because I'm, I'm almost certain it's in the crook of the L here. The only other place I can think it'd be is up from here, which is potentially... It could be here, and it could be in the crook of the L. I'm going to go for the crook first. I need to line up with this door to make sure I put the bomb in the right place. It's not there, so I'm going to say that it has to be here, which is a bit of a waste if it's not. But yeah, I guess I thought it would be. Um, and this is a good situation here, so I think what we do is, first of all, let's check out the shop. Before we do anything, let's check out the shop. And see if it, see if there's anything on this floor that's valuable to purchase. Oh, I kind of forgot we've got this fucking room. Ugh. Oh my god. PhD is, is pretty amazing. Um, what I was going to do is re-roll a bunch of stuff, but actually now that PhD's there, I think we're better off, we're better off buying PhD. So I think I'm going to take as much money as I need to get up to 15 cent and then re-roll the other two. Hopefully re-roll the other two. Unfortunately, that didn't really... It kind of jumped and I wasn't expecting that. Like, it kind of like jumped over the penny I was trying to grab uh, with it. Oh, well. But then, anyways, we got PhD. Yet another time where doing our due diligence pays off a lot. And we put ourselves in a much, much, much better spot here. Um, and having having PhD could be pretty amazing over the course of this run. Um, getting a bunch of tears up. It's just nice to be able to take pills and them not be bad more than anything. 
We are going to have a bit of a shock on the next floor because we have quite a lot of damage here that we're going to lose. Um, which is going to be a bit of a shame, but I'll get over it. I'll get over it. But yeah, we'll be able to kill this guy reasonably quickly at least. Hopefully have a decent time against him. We don't have any bombs left to fight him with, but I don't really think we need any. Um, we're doing good damage. We're killing the minions in a single hit, which is just fine and dandy. As for the question of the day to day, um, would would you, if you could, would you change the way that you looked? If it was free or like painless or whatever, would you change the way that you looked or are you perfectly happy with how you look? And if you would change it, what would you change? Also, just got a great item here. So this is obviously very nice. Uh, tears up, balls of steel, range up, a second pretty fly. But also, I have a mod that buffs mum's coin purse so that when we get hit, we have a chance to drop a pill. So, synergistically, this is pretty good. Honestly, I am I am in for a mother run here. I don't do mother runs very often on the streak, but this run has a lot of health and we've got decent damage and stuff. So, while I might not do the mother boss, I'm definitely down for going down this path and seeing if it's viable for us. The only thing that worries me at the minute is obviously my damage realistically is quite low. Um, so I've got to actually get some damage ups to make this more plausible right now. But right now, the run itself is looking good. Keys galore at the moment. Um, and we get Havoc Vault. I don't actually know. I'll be honest. Havoc Vault is very good, but I'm actually kind of intrigued to stick with this active right now. Havoc Vault. That, well, Vault of Havoc. Vault of Havoc is also a little dangerous because it takes the 12 most recent enemies you've killed and brings them into a room. But it does solve a lot of problems. I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to take it. Although I would have absolutely loved Acid Baby in this situation. So I'm a little bit annoyed at myself for taking that because Acid Baby would have been a lot of fun with this somewhat pill-centric build we've got going on. Um, I would have definitely been down for that. But Havoc Vault's interesting. Because it bases it on the last enemies that were killed, and it can give you some insanely, insanely good rewards. I think that's pretty worthwhile. From four enemies so far, although, is it broken? I didn't get a charge that room for some reason. Unless I, oh wait, maybe maybe it's just been changed visually so it doesn't charge up until you're at 12. Oh no, I, did, I got a charge that time. Weird, weird shenanigans going on there. Uh, shop obviously not the minute very not very viable at the minute, but we'll see. Just gotta remember that my damage isn't always gonna be bad. Extra bomb there, super nice we found a tinted rock, or we have a strong suspicion on secret room. Which I'm sure we will shortly. I'm actually really liking having this rotten heart by our side as well to bolster our damage a little bit while the actual stat itself is not too high. I think in terms of like changing myself. <sighs> There's certain things I'd like to, but nothing, like, major. Nothing super major. I think one thing I'd love to be able to do is actually grow a proper beard. Like, I have, like, this sort of shitty half beard thing that I basically just keep because my girlfriend likes it. I don't I don't mind either way. Um, <laughs> but I've had it for, like, what, like, eight years now, so no point changing. Um, and I'd just like to be able to bro grow a proper, proper beard. Unfortunately... We uh, filled the room with shit here for no good reason because, unfortunately, you're not affected at all. But that looks visually very cool. Unfortunately, this is going to be kind of a long fight with our low damage stat, uh, or base damage stats, that I say, for now. Um, and I'm going to get hit a few times. But the more we get hit, the easier the fight gets. So, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, not being able to kill Min Min early normally guarantees me getting hit at least once. Because he just has more time to summon flies and that causes trouble for me. It's that attack there where he throws out a fly and then it shoots at you. I find that kind of difficult. Ooh, I don't, I've not seen that attack many times before. It's this one that I, that I know about most times. I'm just going to try and ignore all the other flies for now and do my best to, to focus on him because all the flies go away once he dies. That attack I like, although it's, it's incredibly easy to avoid most times, but it is a fun attack. Although he might might be doing it a little too often. Oh, he spawned on me there. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, this is this is my moment here. This is my moment. There you go. We lost a soul heart in here. Not ideal. 
Uh, Devil Deal? I, I am going to check the Devil Deal because my health is good. Oh, Buck of Lucifer is really good. Empty Vessel. Empty Vessel doesn't do a lot for us now, but I'm going to take it because it's plus two Black Hearts. Locks us into the Devil Deal. I'll take the Chariot as well. I think that's not bad. And then Secret Room. Where, where, where are we thinking the Secret Room? We don't have to go for Secret Room here. In fact, I'm more inclined not to because we've only got one bomb. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna save my bomb for if I do decide to go the mother out. I'm not sure if I'm going to yet. I, basically, I'd like to get a damage upgrade this floor to make me go into the um, to make me go into the the, the rest of the the mother path a little more viable. Because I think right now with my damage, it's not ideal. Maybe if I got a tears up, that would also work for it. We'll see what we get. So luckily we've actually set up a pretty easy Havoc Bolt for ourselves here with the enemies we fought. So we can pop that. Uh, it said 12 enemies and now it's down to 10, so... The game's clearly screwing with me a bit right now and it's kind of annoying. One room it just didn't charge, it was at 12 enemies and now it's not. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this. I'm not sure why I'm getting pranked, bro. can use it now. So of course with Havoc Vault you, you do have... A lot of havoc. There's a there's a, a lot going on, but basically the the route that I always sort of take or I would like to take is take out the enemies that chase you down first and then get onto the other stuff later. The good thing about Havoc Vault is it always has some bonus goodies in it. It's okay, a bit of bad damage there, but that's fine. I'm not. I'm going to say, I'm not liking the fact that there's a bunch of turrets in here. That's certainly making things less enjoyable. Not all of the rooms have turrets in them, but we got some HP out of this one. We got the Soul Heart back. Unfortunately, we got a bunch of uh, Fool's Gold Rocks in here that I can't bomb because I don't have enough bombs to make it valuable. What I, I think what I'm actually going to do next time we get our Havoc Vault is proc this, uh, proc this Chariot card. Okay. At least we got some damage up here. Still a pretty tricky room. Oh god, there's an invisible one there. I didn't actually... I did genuinely didn't see him. I knew he existed at the start of the room, but I didn't see where he nestled himself down. These guys are pretty interesting enemies. They're, they're, they're normally pretty easy because their swing is like pretty off, off kilter. But you can get them to destroy rocks for you, which is kind of nice. You can get that guy to destroy rocks for me as well, apparently. Didn't actually expect that to work, but it did. Okay, all good. And we do have our item room here as well, which is going to be the bell or triple shot, which isn't isn't ideal. Isn't ideal to get as a random item. I don't know if I'd have taken that if it wasn't just given to me, just because my fire rate isn't, it, it isn't great right now. But it's not, it's not a terrible item. Certainly not a terrible item. Um, how exactly am I getting a, getting around this room here? I think I've got to get these guys to smack the... Uh... Oh no, they can just walk over, I see. Interesting. Okay, this, this room doesn't work the way I thought it would. Oh, there's a bloody... I didn't even realise there was a vent wheel on the edge there. I'm just waiting here, like a goober. For something else to hit the vent. Turns out I can just hit the vent. The vent wheel, whatever you want to call it. I like that mechanic as part of this uh, this floor. So it's nice and unique. Get over here. Right, so then we can do this. And then we can chariot card. To take out a lot of these very, very quickly. Not all of them, mind you. Not all of them. But a lot of them very, very quickly. We'll see what we roll we get. You, you can get items out of this, but a lot of the time you get HP. I mean, we just got Terror. That's incredible. Um, now, that's that's the damage up I sort of needed to make um, to make me want to go to Thingy. Um, make it more viable to, for me to want to go to Mother. Certainly more viable now. Right. Start looking for second secret room. 
Hello, hello. I'll at least play you because I don't care about those red hearts and we got a look up out of that as well. I'd like to fill those up a bit more and carry on with that, to be honest. Okay. Keep destroying stuff where we can, seeing what else we can grab. Come on back now. I'm not going to bother with the boss because I'm definitely not going to do the boss twice. Oh, and now we can get to all the all the rocks. Nice. Okay, we've got six keys to work with here as well, so the shop is viable. We've got very good damage right now. Quickly check this out. It's a buy got an arm, which is a very, very good item, but um, not particularly one that I, uh, I'm looking for right now because it's another active item. A lot of active items coming our way at the minute. Th I think that's dem genuinely going to be one of the, thi the, the, the two things that are going to kill me on this streak. Jacob and Ezao is is certainly plausible. If I get a Jacob and Ezao pull, I reckon there is a decent chance they could get me killed. Um, where's secret room here? I think there's a decent chance they could get me uh, killed. If, um... Ooh, this is nice. I reckon um, getting a bunch of active items and no items could also get me killed. There's, there's, there's definitely a few things here that could, that could be a bit gnarly for us. Right. Let's come back to you. I'm playing you because I want the item, but I'm also playing you for the chance of getting pills. The pact. Lovely. In fact... You will you will give me empty vessels. I'm gonna I'm gonna play you. I'm I'm only gonna play you twice. Abaddon. Very very nice. And there's a heart container there. I don't care. Actually no 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 no. no. I'll hold. Oh, okay, it's ten to water. Doesn't matter. Um yeah, that went that went uber well. I don't think I've ever seen this boss before. That guy was a new one to me. Right, cool, we got that done. Right, mirror room, mirror room, where art thou? Now, this is obviously another thing that could get me killed. If I if I play poorly while in my mirror room, it could just be the end. So I've, I've got to be really, 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 really cautious while uh, playing my mirror room. I'll do my Havoc Vault again here. I think now that I've got flight and more damage, these rooms aren't even nearly as bad. Oh, well, apparently I don't have flight in here. That's interesting. That must be like a specific thing with uh, with these rooms that it doesn't allow you to have flight. Which is probably smart, but a little stinky for me. Nothing much good there. Okay. Let's just be careful. We've, we've got a, a decent trek to get back to our item room, so let's be as careful as we possibly can be. The good thing is things should be dying so fast it really shouldn't affect us too much here. We really shouldn't have too much of a problem. We've just got to be on our tiptoes, I guess. I think we can shortcut through here. It didn't actually do much for me, I don't think. Pill. Got a range up, nice. We got a golden sack here as well. That's a rare one. I'll keep grabbing it and see what we end up getting. Don't know where it went. It's still about somewhere, I heard it. There it is. God damn. Oh boy. Can I do this and then this? Ah, Wait, no, it did work. Well, that was pretty lucky. So, consumable wise, I think we're, uh, I think we're pretty much set. Oh my god, we are getting lucky with these. These have not run out yet. How? I think consumable wise we are more than okay for the foreseeable future. God damn, the, these normally disappear after like one or two pulls. We're getting really lucky here. Really, really lucky. Okay, that one finally disappeared. 
That one also disappeared. Good, good. Do I want to gamble on the boss? I think, I think so. It's, it is a gamble, but I feel like it's a pretty safe gamble, to be honest. Yeah, just be, just focus, focus up. Yeah, just because we can do this and just absolutely destroy him. And we get that, which I'll take. I realise I could have rerolled that into a devil deal, but I thought it was better to just take it because of what it was. Plus damage is just you don't you don't turn your nose up at plus damage, do you? Like why would you? Right. Anyways, we get ourselves gone once again. Half a soul heart there we don't need. Honestly, like, it is crazy. I mean, these runs are lucky. Yes, they're defi I, there's definitely a luck component to some of these runs. But at the same time, I do feel like I am getting, like... Uh, like, my, my min-maxing is, is being a big component in how lucky I'm getting. If I wasn't min-maxing these runs, the luck wouldn't be as apparent sort of thing. It wouldn't be as readily available. It's only because I'm really pushing the boat out to do everything I can that is the reason that I'm getting as lucky as I'm getting. Or, like, taking advantage of the luck as much as I am. I have it bolts ready. Ooh, I have a lot less damage now. I kind of forgot about that. I kind of forgot I'd have a lot less damage now. Good, and that's a bunch of chests and a trinket. We have enough keys to open all this shit, so why not? Oh, we have flight now. Now that we can leave the room, we have flight. Okay, get out of here. Didn't mean to walk into here, but there you go, it's done. Oh, that was a really bad hit. Made some damage for us, but that was a really stupid hit by me. Okay, oh my lord. It's we got a luck penny out of it, it's fine. <laughs> I feel more vindicated in getting hit when I actually get some sort of reward from it, which is why I'm like hoping for pills on hit, because then then they'll be pretty good with PhD. We have a lot and a lot of money to work with here if we would like to. Didn't expect you guys to shoot like that. I like this room, it's cool. It's a cool idea, a little train chugging along. Beautiful. Soul Heart there. Havoc Vault once again. I like the way I just pushed the uh, invincible fly thing away there. I didn't actually kill it. I just relocated it. That's some more hearts. Dude, Havoc Vault is very, very good. It's it's one of those items that it, it does have a lot of risk associated with it because if your build isn't strong... It's very hard to take advantage, but if your build is strong, oh my lord, you can just rinse through the rooms it gives you um, with, without any care of what enemies goes into the rooms. And get some great stuff. And we've got a planetarium on a 16% chance here, and it's Luna. We already have a planetarium item, so Luna's a nice addition. Uh, actually, Luna's a very good addition with the ability to destroy rocks with our shots. So them two work together quite nicely, I'd say. And we can potentially... For one, get a lot of extra stuff from secret rooms, but get that extra fire rate as well. Stop lobbing bombs, you dick. Sci-fly gives us some protection here as well. Glad I didn't pair throw up beforehand. Sci-fly is very good. Sci-fly isn't anywhere near what it used to be. I remember back in the day, Repentance, early days, when Sci-fly was... You literally couldn't lose. I wonder if that, that uh, centipede counts as a ton of different enemies. It does. <laughs> the centipede counts as a ton of different enemies because of uh, the way that it's coded. That's really funny. Because uh, I thought it would, because like e each individual segment has a chance to drop stuff if you have like an on-drop effect, like on-kill effect. So I was curious if it would work that way, and it very most certainly does. It's pretty funny. Some extra bombs there. 
No secret room there. I'll crack these open, considering. Not that we need the stuff inside them, but you got to hope for items, haven't you, in this stage? And at this point as well, I don't really care about being hit so much, because... Oh, I need to remember I can drop Child's Heart at this point, too, because it's literally worthless to me now, because I don't need Red Hearts, so... That's something I hadn't really thought about. Also, I need to remember I have this card. I haven't used the card yet, either. Probably use that on the shop, maybe. Ooh, infinite keys. How how valuable to me. We get ourselves our bonus fire rate. Rather nice. It's not an insane amount of bonus fire rate, but it is a good amount. Because we've got triple shot. Right, red candle's obviously not very good for us here. Um, yeah, just use that and see what we get. Nothing of value to me there. Got invincibility upon entering this room, which I quite like. Oh, dude. It gave, it gave us the soul heart enemies back. That's pretty funny. Ooh, we got some sort of oven mitt here. Plus five bombs. Allows Isaac to hold their bombs and throw them. Okay. It's kind of useful. There's a few items that have that similar effect from modding. Get out of there. We are absolutely skating along at this point. Absolutely skating along. I mean, we can get some extra pills from here. Didn't really think about that before. Mushrooms. Easy to destroy. Can contain pills. Always good to go for. I've never actually used something wrong in a fight, so... Now, now is the time. And of course, he literally skates the entire thing. Great. Really thought that was going to hit him, but... Back off you. I think I've managed to set him on fire a little bit with his own hot bomb there. Ah, okay, we got him nice and easy. Some extra bombs. We do not want the HP. Although, actually, no. I'll take the HP and then immediately trade it away if I can. Um, Firecracker Flower is not what I'd expect to find in a... Um, thingy. Okay, we'll take this because then we're a uh, one-off guppy. Got a health up there. We'll uh, hold on to the health up in case we want to use it later down the line uh, for another devil deal. And we'll keep on keeping on. God, we are blasting our way through this game at the moment. It's beautiful. And yeah, we got our guppy's head, boys. I, I didn't really take it for the actual familiars. They're nice, but obviously with our power, they're just useless. Um, but it is indeed a guppy item, so we're one-off guppy now. Nice fire at bonus, and you get half a soul heart for that as well with Luna. So there's, there's a lot, there's a lot to like. There's a lot to like. Havoc Vault. Havoc Vault gave us another soul heart spider as well here. What are you doing over here, my guy? Can you chill the hell out? A bunch of other stuff there for us. But technically, I could keep destroying rocks over and over again to try and roll um, thingy special rocks. Again, they'll destroy the mushrooms here because pill chance is there. I've got to try. That one just keeps... It keeps... It, the, the rock that keeps on giving, my god. We have a set... We just have this setup where... We're like, invul <laughs> like invincible. It's crazy. I think Havoc Vault needs some tweaks. It's simply too good. I'll take that. Thank you. It's simply too good. Perhaps the uh, rock shot doesn't break these guys' heads. Balance-wise, I can kind of see why not. Ooh, another pill. I can see forever's kind of useful just for finding out what secret rooms are. Probably should have held it for the next floor, but I'd rather hold on to my health up. For potential devil deal shenanigans. Use it just before I enter a devil deal. I will be spawning in the key piece, by the way, because the whole chase thing is just meh. Okay, a lot going on in this room. Lots of money to be had as well. Certainly not handling this room in the best way possible. 
And we got ourselves butt bombs. Nice. My goodness. Just so much stuff. I don't even need all this money. It's just... It's just kind of there. I'm trying to destroy these rocks just to get them out of the way, but... It's really not helping. Okay, there you go. They're actually gone now. The, the, the chance for them to respawn is so high, man. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can kill these guys prior to them flipping. Oh, what the fuck happened there? Genuinely have no idea. I think I, like a rock respawned on me and screwed me over. I'm not sure. It's your soul heart there. I don't know where that came from, but I'll take it. Getting a lot of uh, a lot of extra soul hearts from various places here. Do you want to hit me? There you go. Thought, why not go for a luck penny? Why not? That it? That is it. Foul guts not really something we want to take, is it? Um. I think Falgut can kind of stay in its place, to be honest. Right, let's go find an item room real quick. And we'll skedaddle out of here as soon as we can. Ooh. What's going on here? Oh, okay. We've got two long secret rooms. And I was like, um, the fuck is a long secret room? Excuse me? Experimental pill. Speed up. Okay. Got to help up with us. We'll crack that open. Shattered Orb, good, but can you deny the Havoc Vault? We can't put it away. It's it's simply too good, as, is, has, as has been stated already. It's not something we can simply just get rid of. Right, again, destroy the mushrooms. Oh, there's a random small rock there. Love that. Speed down's a little annoying, but our speed isn't imperative right now, so I'll be fine. SMB Superfan would get rid of our thingy, uh, but it is it is good. I'm going to take it and just hope I get a devil deal. Oh, man. That's depressing. Oh, wait. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a health down back over somewhere that I could take. Dude, the amount of soul hearts. It's obscene, baby. Oh, car battery. This doesn't do anything for us now, but I'm pretty sure one of the pills back over here was a health down. So, let me go and try that out and see if I can utilize that. There's just ridiculous amounts of health everywhere at the moment. Ah, they're, they're all health ups. <laughs> I can't health down below one red heart, apparently. That's fine. I'll, I'll devil deal it away at some point. Oh my god, there's like thousands of heart containers everywhere here. They're numerous. It's okay. We will be back to empty vesseling, hopefully not too, fa not too far from now. Unfortunately though, we did get an XL floor here, which is a little unfortunate, because less chance at that devil deal. Although we do have a pretty good chance to get one this floor, so we should hopefully get one. Got our fire rate bonus there. Got some more money that we didn't need. Unfortunately, no more mushrooms this floor. Oop, we did get one of the good cards there. I always forget these guys fire herming shots when they die. It's a little, little sketchy. Right, quickly come back here and check out what card this was. Eh, not one of the good ones. I mean, it is a good one, but compared to some of the other ones, it's not one of the good ones. Some of the others are unbelievably strong. The vault, she is ready. Ooh, I think we uh I think we ought to be carrying that with us from now on. The spin down could be pretty good. Ah, oh, we've got multiple of these guys that we've got to kill before anything happens. We got you little block boy. 
Oh, I've got a bunch of these guys with the invincibility things on them. Ow. I really don't mind taking this much damage, though, to be honest, because I know I'm going to get it all back. Nine lives? Into the pact? Well, nine, nine lives is guppy, so let's just take nine lives. That gives us permanent flight no matter what. Wasn't expecting to get Guppy this run, but here we stand. Guppy in tow. Beautiful. Is there any sayings, like phrases or, or like sayings, like it, it, something in tow, or that's in my wheelhouse, that you for the longest time either didn't understand or completely misinterpreted? So I feel like that's something that's, that, that's pretty common. Like, look how often we're able to do this. It's, it's, it's honestly ridiculous. Um, I think we're soft locked. I can't kill these enemies until the rest of the enemies die, but the invulnerable blocks count as enemies, so I'm pretty sure I have to debug here. I always do that. Press enter to use it, there you go. And we get... Ooh, I will certainly spin that down into that, thank you. Enemies being, not being able to do anything for a short time when I walk into a room is very, very nice. Got the boss here, it's XL floor, so we, we want to find the item rooms first. We've got two to look at. We'll look out on secret rooms this floor with it being an XL as well, which is a little bit of a shame in itself. Fish oil. Increases tier size twofold is kind of interesting. They are some big tiers. I don't know if uh, increased tier size is really useful at all, but I've got it. Get back in the wall, you freak. Yeah, there must be a bunch of sayings that people just say wrong all the time. Like putting something on a pedal stool rather than a pedestal. Uh, I'm going to take the random here. Unfortunate. Yeah, that backpack thing isn't very good for the situation we've got going on right now. Right now. God damn, I got hiccups. I'm not going to have a vault until I kill another 12 enemies because I do not want to fight those guys in my vault. The Brimstone guys, I don't mind, because they'll kill everything else for me. But the invincible, invincible guys... Yeah, you can see what I mean? It's gone down to plus 10. Or times 10 on the thing, and then it's back up to 12 again. It's kind of going back and forth a little bit. Some enemies seem to not count. We're on 12 at the minute, but... <sighs> okay, I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet, because there's multiple of these dudes about. I think it's just time to bite the bullet. Is there an enemy left in this room, or am I good? Oh, there is, yeah. I heard a black heart drop somewhere. There you go. So, see, now we can't use it because it says on times 10. Why? What's going on with that? Oh, Greed's butt's incredible. Greed's butt is very good. All right, now we can do it. A lot of these folk about, but not too hard to take out, and all these wall huggers are, uh, makes things a lot easier. Oh, I've got one of these wall demons in here as well. I kind of forgot that you were one of the past enemies I'd killed. And we get ourselves tears up, plus speed. Nice. Our tears are very, very good right now. Right, I think we're just auto go for our boss now. Not much point. Eh, actually, we've got another item room, haven't we? Yeah, we've got one other item room. Let's try and find that first. Luckily, we do have uh, Terra, so if we go into a wrong room, we can just turn around. Or if we want to shortcut through a room, we can do that too. Some of the rooms are obviously easy enough to just kill. Come on, game. Where are we going? Uh, at this point, I don't even need to mess with the vault, I don't think, but I'm just doing it, because why not? 
Holy light is amazing. We've got good luck as well. Holy light is an item. It's just one of my favorite items. Ugh. It's crowing time. Keep forgetting we got Guppy as well. I'm like, where are these flies coming from? Oh, yeah. We have the only transformation that has those. Wait, can I not? I can't take damage from these guys for some reason. Is that Greed's butt doing that to me for some reason? It might just be. And then we take random. Oh, all red hearts become blended hearts. Also, very, 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 very strong. <laughs> we are pretty much unkillable here. I would say. Pretty much unkillable. Right, let's keep it going. Hoping I can get a devil deal here to trade this away. Would rather have dim bulb, not that it's super useful either way. Ooh, warp zone. Warp zone's a fun boss, although he can be a little difficult. Um, just because like he's kind of time constrained if you can't just kill him. You do a damn good job of it, but he doesn't kind of just let you steamroll him. You gotta bide your time. He's a really, really cool, cool design boss. I really like the idea behind him. And he's dead. Yeah, you kind of got to fight two of the bosses first. Dice Goblin doesn't do much for me, but I'll take it. Kind of weird that it spawned those in the following room. I didn't actually mean to do that, but there you go. Um, and we'll take the negative, obviously. Something wicked is causing errors. Oh, no. Thought that was fixed. Although it shouldn't have caused an error there. I don't really know what that error is from, I'll be honest. Trinket, two of coins. Oh, it's something to do with a trinket. Okay. Uh, let's do that, and then let's go give knife piece two. Puzzle piece. Missed it. God damn it. Knife. Go. There you go. Don't even give a shit about the lasers. Don't even give a shit. Give me that. The vault, why not? I don't even know how this will work. Ooh, it's interesting that it took this floor theme. And it spawned pillars for the for the crows as well. And those the, the, the bosses count too. This is interesting. Could you just land, fuckers? Oh, really? And after all that, you give me fucking cursed eye? That's just offensive. <laughs> That's just mean. Right, speed on through. Yeah, you guys, are you guys feeling invested in the streak so far? I'm really just enjoying the streak videos, because even though, like, I am getting a lot of runs where I'm steamrolling the game like this, there's just there's more high stakes. I feel like even even on the good runs, I've got to I've got to try and play as as good as I can because think the tide can turn. Like you got to think that if I even on a run like this, if I end up getting myself down to lowish HP and then have to fight Mother, it could still end. Like this is not uh, this is not the sort of run that can insta kill Mum. Can do a bloody lot of damage to her, but not insta killing her by any means. When used in a room uh, with a visible creator, we'll skip and remove them all. Okay, let's let's just use this now then, shall we? Cool. Good old rat poison. You can also use this straight away as well, which is nice. With holy light, we're just calling in so many of these light beams as well. I just love that sometimes it's like, let's just fill a room with maggots and give you a, an item for, ki for killing them. Technically shouldn't probably work that way, but... Spawns a throwable knife familiar, removes itself um, if... Okay, kind of interesting. I guess I'll use it. The, weird, because this... From whatever mod this from, it's a trinket, but there's another mod where, it's, where the mended knife is an item.
This is a pretty strong trinket, I'd say. Uh, it clears the, it clears the room of everything, I see. So, it's not just good at killing enemies, it, like, it removes machines, money, obstacles. That's kind of scary. Got one of these bad boys. That hit me? Okay. Akeldama. Actually, I'm actually just going to re-roll that. Eh, am I? Is it even worth re-rolling? I don't even think so. I'm just going to carry on for the boss, I think. The vault is open once again. As is customary. And we get Guppy's head. Which, eh. We've already got Guppy, so it doesn't do much for me. Mr. Dead, one of my favourite bosses. Not that we'll get to see him do literally anything, but... He is really cool when he survives for more than a second. Hey, we finally got a devil deal to get our empty vessel back. What we got going on in here then? Um, while the um, car carapace is active, extra damage and speed blocks the first damage taken every room, reactivates in the next incomplete room. Ugh. I'd get empty vessel for this, but is it really worth? I'm gonna reroll both of these, or at least one of them. Can I reroll one of you? It doesn't seem to be rerolling. Broken heart thing isn't really working. Oh no, that one's working. That one's working. I'll reroll this and see what I get. Yep, I'll take it. It's not very good, but it's it only cost me a heart, um, and it get put me in an empty vessel. So, not that black powder is really any good. Although on the last phase of mother, on the last phase of mother, I'm saying it might be okay. Also, where did my trinket go? Well, this makes this easier because I can just skippity hop out. We got we got maximum HP. You might as well just go for it. Empty vessel is procced at the minute as well. Good stuff. I don't know what my uh, baby's doing, but he is a lighting shining gold buddy. So I like that about him. I should always throw some bomb bombs in here as well. We got some butt bombs going on. Might as well get some bombs when we can. Yeah, let's try and do a black powder ring around the boss. I've never tried that before, and I don't know how much damage it would actually do, but if I could get one to connect... I did manage to connect one. It's not exactly how I was planning it to go. Yeah, did that, that, that's not super useful, to be honest. I'm taking a lot of damage here. To be fair, I didn't expect you to do this attack. It was very inconvenient of you, actually, to uh, to do that attack. We got you down to half health already, so we're doing a fine job of this. Honestly, the more you do that attack, the better for us. There you go. Get one of them down, doing some extra damage to you. I think it's doing damage to you, like, even though you're a flying enemy, technically. There you go. Good, good, good. All done. I hope you guys did enjoy. A little mother run. Something a bit different for the streak. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.